Find a new. Oh, look at that. Got him trained. Ha! Well, before I blow by, I stopped, even though I'm up going up a hill. I want to show you the back side of this barn. Look at that. Now I'm going to pull around and show you the front side of it. I got a car coming up on me. Alright. Well, didn't go very far before I stopped and showed you this front corner. Look at that. That is doing it. Man, your mommy sure is tough. It ain't the first barn they built. It won't be the last. All right, it's threatening rain. I had to stop and get a bag for my camera. Now, I said to myself, you're gonna get a bag when it's rainy weather. You got plenty of them at the house. Leave, don't think about it. Get on the road and then I realize I'm feeling sprinkles. But there's a young couple back down the road. Got the garden where the granddaddy, you know, did the garden. So the granddaddy passed and he, the young couple got the house. And uh, so I knocked on the door and got me a bag. You know, the kind you tote grass, groceries in. And uh, the wife came out holding a little five month old baby. <laughs> of course, you know, I had to say, well, how fast they grow up and then I told them how fast mine grew up you know there's little bitty things knee high turned around looked back at them one was a college girl said daddy I'm going to college the other said daddy I'm getting married you know there's my height you know and I'm saying to myself what happened to time this is before I knew I could collapse it but sometimes when I'm talking to these young people I like giving them the idea that if they can just be present, fully present in the moment with their children at the games or at the, you know, the re rehearsal, recitals and performances at school plays and things. But I was too busy striving in time. And I've told this story before. My youngest daughter brought me the movie Click and she said, play it I want to play I want to, we all sit down and we want to watch this movie and after the movie had been on about 20 minutes she looked over at me and said you you did that didn't you daddy and I said yeah I did I fast forward everything to try to have a more money in a job a better job uh, the next promotion that was all I thought about and that was all I was that provider that you know got to go get it you know nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with providing for your family but i tell people now if i know what i know when i was 21 i would have never got in debt and i would have been different but you can't, i can't go you know i can go back and heal it in in a uh, conscious way and i have healed the timelines and uh, had everything changed and shift over to one of peace in my mind and uh, so yeah and the little couple they look at me and you know i can just see like little what do you mean get out of debt <laughs> we just started a family but they they're pretty smart <laughs> and if you're listening to this and you're a young person with young children the best thing you can do is get out of debt and buy you a cheap house one that's decent but cheap <laughs> and pay for it cash as quickly as you can and get out of debt that way you can enjoy life and you can enjoy things but this system set up to keep us in debt and they do it in some mischievous ways with taxes and things that break like refrigerators cars break down obsolescent built-in redundancy for failure <laughs> And they want you to buy everything five times before you raise a family. It's used to you buy a refrigerator, the damn refrigerator to go down to the grandkids. They didn't want it, but it could still run. All right, I got to go on that one. <laughs> Bye. Can you read that?
critter getter. That's who that is. He'll take care of bats, beavers, and all kinds of critters on the back. Snakes, squirrels, and more pesky squirrels, and them stinky skunks. He is on the job. Look on this side, he's got possums and raccoons. He's got wrote out exactly what he does. Coyotes, armadillos, raccoons, beavers, skunk, and snakes. I was passing by, this is my normal route, and there's something I'd been wanting to look at anyway. You might see it back there. See that old rusty cage looking thing? That's a cemetery. I said I had time one day, I want to stop. Well, there ain't no better time than right now why the critter getter is parked here. Well, I hadn't noticed this. And all these years I've been riding by here and never really noticed it. I guess that was so grown up with the stuff that I never did. Look at that one right there. Sound B Hope. December the 25th on Christmas Day, born in November the 18th. So what year was he born in? 1883, 1929, during the Depression. Wow. This place was so growed up for all these years. They've cut him in here and cut it down. And I passed by it the other day and I, I said, you know, I really need to stop and look at this. Take time. read that one good but maybe once I zoom in y'all can see it on camera when I video when I process it <laughs> there's the date now that one right there that white one is old as time I don't, I don't know if I ought to go in on it they got it hooked with the thing but as you can see it don't look like nobody been in on it in a while. Let's walk around here. Oh. So this one has fell over. All of them have fell over and they put a mud seal over the top of it, as you can see. So what we have is, look at that, with the finger point. Maybe I can take a picture and turn it around and we'll be able to see it. Take a couple of that one. I'll take one of this one. All right. That's about the best I can get. Walk around. Yeah, I see all this was growed up for years. You can see the growth on everything. I don't want to walk up on no wash next. Look at that wasp. That's a big red one. Yeah. Look back across that way. Take a picture. Get out of here. Would you believe he flew right in my face? But it didn't sting me. This arm work is very, very old. All right, maybe I can talk to somebody about the Holt. Holt, H-O-L-T. Name sounds familiar. But that's a pretty common name. Well, I said I wanted to stop and do it and I did it. Now I gotta 
talk to the preacher or somebody to get a history of what, what that really means. Was that part of the original church right here? Was it? And that was behind the church, or mighty close, but... All right, death is something that we're not taught about. And I'm gonna make a video about my thoughts and feelings on death and dying. I found a guy that wrote a book, Die Wise. And gosh, dog, I've been listening to his videos, and so I'll leave a link in the description to where I have it on my Buddha page. Because if you want to die, there's a way to die really good. There's a way to live really good. But most people haven't been taught how to live really good in consciousness, and most people haven't been taught at all how to die in consciousness. We're we're the leading edge of this information getting out there to the masses. One day you'll see, it's gonna to be totally different about how people welcome death. Be a party. What it, all, what it should have been all along. But I'll talk about it more in detail later. Y'all keep listening and coming back, liking my videos. Leave comments about what you might wanna hear me talk about spirituality and things like that. <laughs> Not that I know anything. I don't know nothing. Don't ever take my word for anything. Look it up and do your own research. Beautiful horse. Yeah, I'll give you something about it maybe. I don't know if you will out here, but Minding you. Oh, look at that. Got him trained. Ha! Ah. That's cool. I bet he does other stuff. I bet he jumps. I'll lay down. Lay down, all that. Yeah. Cool. I didn't have a post to kill him with the whip. I didn't have one with me, but he's cool. You enjoying the weather? Oh yeah. Try not to get rained on. So y'all must live out here pretty close. Well, I don't live here, but I train up here. Okay. Well, he's pretty. Yeah, you're about the only bicyclist that slowed down just to check. I know. Everybody's in such a dang hurry. Uh, I make YouTube videos. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. So this will go up on YouTube if you don't mind. Uh -huh. People will see your horse. <laughs> but that's why I stop is, you know, I, I, I believe that uh, we're supposed to meet people, talk to them, say hey to folks. Yeah. Hey, you know I mean, I can always get back up to speed. <laughs> but nice of you to let me videotape it. Oh, no problem, man. All right. A few moments later... Well, I made it here to my shed, so for right now I'm safe, but I'm trying to outrun a storm, and I, I may stay here for a little bit, see if it's going to pass. It's just sprinkling. Hey, no ears. Hey, how you doing? I ain't been this close to my llamas in a long time. Hey. Y'all are so beautiful. Y'all are so beautiful. Big male. Hey. 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 <laughs> you feel the wind picking up? just have to hunker down here like you see how this little thing hunkered down I may have to hunker down now this is one of the older ones look at this look like a Jamaican <laughs> Rasta man 
Look at all that. That needs to be cut. Oh, I don't know. You can hear it. like the biggest part of it's going around us. I'm trying to catch that lightning, but I can't. <laughs> Every time I move, it, it lightens where I was just looking. But uh, we got semi-clear clouds back over here. See, I can see the blue. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Man, I'm telling you what. That is pretty. <laughs> 